James, Freddie Merritt. This is my 1968 53 year old MG B. Um, and the reason I've got it is that um, I'm an old fellow now, but when I was 21, I decided to uh, buy myself an MG. And it was born in March uh, in 1968. So a couple of years ago, I told my wife that I wanted to be 21 again. And the usual reaction, she knows I'm mad. Uh, and one thing led to another, and finally, uh, a chap in Victoria who was about my age and decided that you know, he'd had enough of his MG and he was, um, it, was, it was time for him to go because he was having trouble with his joints getting in and out. So I ended up with what I consider uh, the best MGB, not only on the Gold Coast, but to me, uh, in the country. Uh, when I bought the car, um, I, real, I bought it actually sight unseen, but I'd been told a lot about it. And um, I realized that it was really a new car. It was better than a new car. And the car as it sits here now has only 10,300 miles on it. So in 53 years, uh, 54 years it's coming up for with March as we are, uh, it's a baby. Still drives beautifully. So it's uh, uh, four forward gears with uh, overdrive and everything as if it's brand spankers. So this has got uh, 1800 cc's, or 1798 as they say, with uh, two um, SU, one half inch carburetors. Uh, and as you'll see when you have a look at the photos, they're as if they've just rolled off the assembly line as well. The car, uh, even for its age, as it's all of its original dockets, uh, its books. Um, there's nothing that it doesn't uh, have. It drives like a dream, as I said. Spare wheel has never been on the road. Uh, it's chrome, the same as the others, and these are the maximum amount of spokes as you could get on an MGB at the time when they first came out. Everything that I know of on this car is original, except for the steering wheel. It's a leather steering wheel on the car. However, it does have the original steering wheel that it came out with those 53 years ago. And I have that as well. So books, receipts, everything that the car has ever had in its entire life is with the car. So it's quite a joy. And I bought it just basically, I suppose, to keep it in the garage. I've got a cover that I throw over the top. Every couple of days I take it off and leave it off for a day just to have a look at it because there's a bit of, um, there's a bit of loveliness in the old MGs. Uh, there's the A's and the TC's and everything that we all love, but the B just had that little bit of extra smoothness about it. So I just like to walk out and look at the car and think that's mine. It's also getting to the stage now um, where another car is looking at being uh, the new priority in the Merritt family, and that's the new C8 Corvette uh, that I ordered 18 months ago, as soon as I realized that they were coming out from the States. So I thought maybe it's time for an old fellow to swap an old car uh, around for a new one. So the Corvette, the C8, I've got it coming, and uh, it's gonna be red, and will be fun. Uh, just to back down the driveway, I guess, because I don't think I'll be able to go much, too much further in it. Uh, but it'll be, it'll be, that'll also be fun. Oh, if the car uh, was to leave, I will be very sad. Um, it's that, that time um, of, of the century, more or less, where cars are getting growing in value. So the longer it sits in the garage, the more expensive the car becomes. That's one thing, but it's not that so much that concerns me. It's just the look of it. and. Uh, it's the same as any possession that you might go in along in life. Um, sometimes you never drive it, sometimes you never use it. But the main thing is at the end of the road, you've got it, it's yours. So you work all your life as hard as you can to put things together so that you get something and you've got something that other people don't have, which is not selfish, it's just why you work hard.